Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you five features of Google Forms that are often overlooked but are very helpful in creating a quiz to give to your students. So you can see I have my demo quiz here. And one of the things that I always do is I go to my preferences. And in the preferences, I will turn on all these default settings of collecting email addresses and giving a point value for every question. That way, I don't ever forget to at least assign some points to all of the questions. It'd be a big time saver. The other thing I always do is in my settings, under presentation, I will disable the show link to another response. And I'll put in a little confirmation message for my students that reminds them if they finished early, work on your next assignment, take out your silent reading book, or any other little reminder I want to put in there. But I'm also, while I'm here, going to shuffle the question order. Now, in my demo quiz, I only have three questions, so it's not that big a deal. But if I have 15 or 20 questions, shuffling the question order can be nice so that our students aren't passing along information about the order of the quiz from one person to another. We'll save that. And speaking of shuffling, on your multiple choice questions, you can go down and next to the required button, select shuffle option order so that not only are you shuffling the order of the questions, you're shuffling the order of the answer choices. And I like to use that option because I usually write my quizzes with the correct answer being the first answer all the time. And I want to make sure that I shuffle those around randomly for my students. Now, the next thing we want to look at is a little feature called data validation. And this is our fifth option. Data validation is great for your short answer questions. Because you can see my question here, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? And I want my, stu my students to write a complete sentence and not just one word or one number in there. So to make sure that they write a minimum amount in response to that question, I'm gonna go down here next to the required button and I'm gonna select response validation and I don't want a number I want text contains or I want length and say I want a minimum character count of at least 60 characters so you can either set it to be text and you need to include a certain keyword or length and it has a minimum character count, and let's say at least 60 characters, and I'll write something like, please tell me more if they don't reach at least 60 characters in their count there. So those are five features of Google Forms that are very helpful, but are often overlooked and creating a quiz in Google Forms. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.